What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Today, we're going to be looking at ICM, 18% left and lower. So let's get started. What do you guys think we should do here? Um, uh -oh. I want to three bet this hand approximately 46% of the time, maybe 38% of the time. <laughs> wow, that's, that's very uh, precise. Okay. Dang. What other hands would you three bet? Well, I'm going to three bet all of the suited wheels, the majority of them, not all of them. I'm going to three bet some of the suited kings and maybe some of the worst suited jacks and queens, along with the linear combos that match. So that would be like your aces, your kings, your ace king. Okay. How about king queen? Oh. King Jack. Perhaps. Off. Yeah, probably. They card match with the top of your range pretty well. And then, why can we three bet so much here? Position and, so much? and he's the widest at the table, right? I think it's just a wide range, man. Okay. Oh, so close. 36. What did I say, Dooley? 37.5? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay, I need to brush up. We're getting close, though. Yeah, yeah, almost there. Gale in theory, optimal. And then here, up from the button, you can call some pairs, but not from the color, right? Mm, uh, yeah, the, guy, the guy's only got 20 bigs, but yeah. So if we raise the seven, okay, and the big, big blind gems... You got a call. Do we? Do we? Yeah, dude. Like you, you've priced yourself in. But <laughs> that's why. That's why it's weird, though. Like, yeah, you that's priced yourself in, but ICM, right? No, you don't got. Oh, never mind. You don't, okay, yeah. Right. So it's indifferent. You just don't have anything to fold in this range, I don't think. Yeah, you're calling a hundred percent. Yeah, because oh, you price yourself in with any two. That's why I wanted uh... to fold three. All right, nice little hand. <laughs> that. It's okay. I mean, it's pretty easy to no. play. No. 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 Yes. No. All right. Whew. Blue. I had a sweat on this one. It's always blue. Look at this. It was going to fold. Uh, I said we fold here. I don't. I yeah, I don't. It's a fold, I think. I think. I think having a nine or eight is very good here versus under the gun. I bet this I, does a little bit of three betting, but mostly folding. I like it. I agree with Scotty. You might prank the guy up a little bit. Yeah, I think there's that eight. 50 50. Spot on. Fold. So look at and what would you do with the hand like Queen Jack suited? Paul. Uh I think we learned that one earlier today. It's probably a fold. I think I'm clicking it back versus the button folding here. And then Jack 10 suited as well. Queen 10 suited would be fold. Yeah, I think you're folding. You probably want a better blocker as UTG versus cutoff. You fold all of them. Yeah. Not you don't not the king queen. Uh actually look at ace queen. Ace queen offsuit. That gives you an idea. Wow. If you're gonna take it pose flop, you really want to be able to make a nice five card hand. Or okay, have so... five six. This is interesting. Okay, can you can you just look at the like if the button were to raise instead? What do you think the button is different? What are you thinking, Dooley? Uh, I think I think the button just has a lot more bluffs that he's raising us with in general. So this we get range to maybe, is a smidge, smidge wider, uh, it's the but same. It's... it's basically the same. Never mind. Except we don't. Except we don't have the uh, ace jack at all. 
the, the ace jack moved into ace queen. Mm. Not, not yeah, never mind. I just had it in my head that uh yeah. He robbed us with his better hand. Just a it feels like an easy call. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Or one of those. Okay. Take another guess with Queen 10 suited. What do you think it would? I mean, if it's doing Jack 10, it's definitely going to be doing King 10, I think. Queen 10, I'm asking. Queen 10? Uh... I mean. If it's jamming Jack-10, I would be surprised, I guess, if it's not jamming Queen-10. There may be some weird blocker stuff going on since it's UTG-1, but... Um, Maybe here it's just Jack-10 and King-Jack. If we jam Queen-10, is he calling us with King-Queen? What about Queen-Jack suited? Queen-Jack suited. Yeah, Queen-Jack suited and Queen-10 suited. My answer depends on if he's folding King-Queen off. Or not. I mean, both of those card match with this combo, so I think they're probably at least competitive jams. Yeah, you're. It's interesting because like your suit connectors are going to make more straights and flushes than like King Ten suited here. But King 10 becomes a better blocker against bigger value. So I think Queen 10 might call, lacking both the blocker value and lacking the uh, suiting connectedness value. Hmm. All right, let's have a look at there. Yeah, so it's just that whole region. Even Queen, Queen Nine. Nine. Okay, this seems this seems nuts to me. I'm just gonna say like, guys, UTG opening off 45, and we're just gonna take 14 big blinds from the big blind and pile all of this on the money bubble. Jack Nine suited, man. <laughs> it performs better than calling because you'll fold out hands that dominate you that you're gonna go broke against if you play call. Well, that's true, Danny. That's true. I guess I just. I just think about like uh, I I just think about like that uh the, the investors bit talk... the bubble. well it's not the investors it's just he's been talking about like stop bluffing early position like what, that just when, rings in my when head shove, when I look at these when we shove how much does he hold here yeah that's a good question Pete Let, yeah let's see let's see how based in reality this is. Yeah, let's these suited nine. Suited oh, it's ten. based, all right. Let's see how based <laughs> it is. The strategy is fucking based. Okay, this this makes a lot of sense actually. I mean, this is like reasonable too, which is the crazy part because like he's probably even folding King Jack suited sometimes. Ace nine, probably letting that go sometimes. Ace ten off might be the key one. Like if he's gonna pure call that instead of nearly pure folding then probably some of your range will change shape a little yeah that's fair i think like uh that that's probably pretty true yeah like so here we're really dependent on the equity we get from folds we need to make these better hands fold so if a guy is tight by nature um this is good uh, maybe it is good by nature yeah but we also need the guy. We yeah. also need this guy to be opening some of these suited wheels from his position, which, you know, that's an ICM adjustment. Those aren't chippy V opens from UTG 1. So no, if but... they're not adjusting and you're missing that sloth of folds. They are chippy V opens. Ace 4 off from under the gun 1. Oh, off suit. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, like I think the, the, the worst off suit when you're opening there should be like around ace nine i think chip ev yeah my brain missed the offsuit part of yeah the... yeah, yeah. yeah yeah he's just the daddy of the table too right yeah so he has to adjust and if he doesn't i mean that's a lot of combos that we have yeah. here um 
There's also like what what other ones? If you go back and look at that range quickly. Oh no, that that is the range. I'm sorry. Can you yeah, change him to Lojack? Like, can we see maybe if he's opening uh, or under the gun? Like one without all that offsuit ASX crap. Can we see how our range will change? Oh, that's a good idea, Danny. That's a good idea. So if you make it low jack Louie, where the guy maybe low jack or hijack, the guy should have a little more pressure. Yeah. That guy's still we'll, open. We'll look at under the gun, maybe. Under the gun is forty. Okay, this is a little better. Hmm. All right, now let's see what we jam against that. It should shrink. I think it's one position earlier. So I think Jack ten it... suited still in there. You gotta make it raise. Not Louis. Queen Nine. You gotta make it raise, and then we'll look at the big blind. It's still pretty. It's a little tighter to 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 the point, but it's still pretty aggressive, right? Mm -hmm. Suited tens. Yeah, suited tens is right. Yeah, this is interesting. This is the kind of stuff I'd probably want to play with HRC some. To actually it's like crazy. I'm never doing that. Well, I, I do jack honestly... ten. I, I don't find them all, but I do jack ten and king ten a lot and I Do you like see my pocket out. nine here? You know? But this isn't not this is just eighteen percent, right? It's not that close to bubble yet. It's I mean close. Kind 11, of. 11 to 15 percent is usually what pays in tournaments. Yeah. You're like 600 guys left, 500 paid. Yeah. yeah. So my pocket nines that I showed the first this morning, you know, probably you is playing, especially on bubble protection. From... Nanny, you missed that. I saw you staring at pocket sixes for a good 10 minutes. Yeah. Call. Uh, you might just fold this. <laughs> it's gonna be a call or a fold. You call. There's no way this you, is ever. You, a fold. you can fold queen nine, and queen ten is yeah. gonna be maybe queen ten. Oh shoot, you fold queen ten too. All right. Queen nine. We're eighteen percent, right? Queen ten it's is not that much. Third. I see it. Oh, queen but ten. But it's like right there at the floor. Okay, so what is this? EP massive stack. Big blind, 20 bigs. Everyone is super deep, just us, that isn't. But this is what we should be defending in big blind. All right, be honest, Louis. What's the worst hand that you're calling here before you saw this range? The worst yeah. queen. Queen 10. Queen 9, maybe. Okay. Yeah. But I'm in this ballpark for sure. Good. Queen 10. Queen 10's still... Zero EV? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's... Yeah. What is that? Negative? Yeah, it's zero. It's zero, but don't play it, as opposed to Queen Jack, which is zero, and you do play it. <laughs> All right, you might be able to prank here some of the time. It's on the right side of zero. <laughs> right. What do you guys right see here? I think you can prank this guy sometimes. This, this yeah. guy's the daddy. Low frequency mm. prank. Low frequency prank. All right, so what are we doing with it otherwise then? Like I'll Chippy B, all... this is a pretty pretty easy V pip. What do you mm -hmm. do with pocket six here? Uh, you're probably <laughs> just supposed to be jamming it, I guess. Oh my god. Might be too much. What's the average average stack? Is nilch. 17 big blinds, yeah, right? Dude, is that right? It's nilch. That's right, Danny. Yeah, it's nilch. It's like little, it's yeah. it's very shallow. Therefore, you fold sixes, I think. The shorter average stack is, or like the, the you know, we're above average stack here with 23. We're going to have to be really careful because it's a huge torch to not cash. Do we even want to prank here? Yeah, we can prank a little, but let's mainly fold, I think. I think you would fold up to like 
Wow, you can jam it? I was wondering. That seems crazy though. Look at the look at the effective jam. <laughs> you're uh, it's it's deciding it wants to effective jam as you're approaching. Then park at six. That seems crazy. Maybe we're jamming sixes too then. Maybe we get to be more disrespectful when we have more chips. What the heck? Sixes are calling. But deuces are still jamming. Maximum disrespect. Do me a favor, Louis. Look at the big blind range here, if we fold. Okay. <laughs> it's it's taking six three suited and uh deciding some of the time. <laughs> some of the time I have pocket aces click back. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should be doing this because I'm only doing this with pocket aces. JK <laughs> JK, I'm doing it with six three. You caught me. How terrified it's like are you when you have pocket fives and someone clicks it on you like that? You so hate it, Pete. You right? absolutely hate it. <laughs> <laughs> we can tree bet some here, right? Can you uh, think about you're this guy's deep, the daddy. Man. Hold the hand. What were you going to say, uh... one... Scotty? What? Oh, just on the last one, do you think of that as, as very polar because it's got the smallest of pairs and the wheel aces, but the we the middle aces call and the middle pairs call kind of it was just very yeah i mean i guess you could call that polar because it did have some like polar combos but it was it didn't really care it was just doing like everything okay he wants to call where it's interacting with the bottom of his opening range and jam the worst stuff and jam the better stuff Uh, yes. Yeah, you just call. Okay, what's the worst offsuit ace you call here? Say you open his jack and he does that, you fold? I'm probably folding ace, ace jack. jack, low jack versus big blind jam. Then you call his queen? Uh, fold probably. Queen. You might even call ace jack. I don't know, man. You got 75. You don't really have much to lose. But, um, we have 75. Well, the other we one, take a flip. Yeah. The other one we looked at, it was even calling a sliver of ace-10 when we mm -hmm. were um, re-jamming big blind. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably not calling that wide. Just but it's because the, the machine finds yeah, the right the re-jams. Exactly, exactly. It's the machine. Like, I, if we look at this big blind range, this isn't like reality in my mind. Like, this is this guy's a lunatic. Like, if somebody's pulling this off in game... Ace-10. Marking... Jack-9 suited? They're not doing that. Yeah, I'm marking him as out of line if he does a lot of this. Ace 10 ace jack. That's surprising yeah. me even. How about jack 10 off? How about jack 10 off? I mean, all what's in. that doing there? Just all in like that. Let's punt it off. <laughs> Forget about the investors. <laughs> Forget about all the sweat, all the tears. Just put it in with 10 9 suited. Yeah, I, I would be giving him an ICM for poor people tag if he jammed Part of off. this is like, he's the mega daddy. He can, if we look at what he opened, he only needs to get through hijack and then it's a bunch of folders. Yeah, that's a that's a fun one. That is a fun range. Okay, put it in. Do you call? No? Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Either 3.9 or 4, but I don't see the point of 3.9 here. 3.9 no, is funny when there's still someone left to act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But go. here it's, yeah, just heads yeah. up anyway. I think 3.9 is there just so you can slurl them with your aces. Exactly, Dooley. Uh, you can prank this guy. This is a reasonable prank hand from this position, I think. Why not just call... Good call. 
I don't hate calling, but I think you're probably going to be pranking some of the time. Why? Uh, you apply a lot of... I mean, you don't always necessarily want to play a hand out of position. Like, you can just apply a lot of pressure, I think. Maybe I don't wrong. know, you're sounding like Louie was sounding on Wednesday, man. Let's take a look. Maybe it's more polar. So, do you think you're, like, three-betting any of these good strong aces? I mean, ace-10. Yeah, ace-king. There's some ace... This is just way more polar than I expected. What's... Like, we're not trying to get it in here with ace-jack, so why would you three-bet? Well, You're I mean... going to three-bet fold? Well, I guess you would. Yeah, you would have to three-bet folds, and that's the problem. Like, I'm not calling a four-bet with ace-jack, so maybe that's why it's preferring ace-10. Some of the time. And seven-five. Ace 10 starts to get bad enough, I guess, where you're bluffing. You want to bluff a little. It really just yeah. wants to be very polar. like. But yeah, it's probably... like the guy has 30. We're the big blind. We can call and, and go to the flop, right? So for a hand to want to not call, it's got to be like really good or pretty crappy. Yeah, you could simplify that strategy pretty easily. And just say like ace king and suited wheel or off suit wheels to make your life easy. Yeah. But then you miss the 7-5. Because even it's ace true. queen o, you don't really want to, like, you don't really, it's too much to jam at this level of ICM, and you don't want to, like, induce call it off with ace queen o here versus EP on the bubble. Don't click, Louis. So just just play call. Don't click. What do you want to do here? You got to three bet some, no? Some? I don't hate that. Some like every you're time? ever folding a hand like this. No, just three bet. Okay. Sure. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like zero EV mixing folds. I'd Maybe it's a... it should be right, but will it do it every time? And I don't think it's folding question. every time. I think you're definitely going to be. No, no, will it raise every time? Maybe. Oh, raise every time. I don't know if it's going to be raising every time. Maybe it will it, though. I think it's zero EV raise, but yeah. yeah. God bless every time. Every time. Every time I come around. There are so many different kinds of zero EV. There's the zero EV that does it every time. It's There's not the zero, zero EV, EV that never does it. 0 0.1. Respect excuse my king me, queen. I know. In this case, I was a little bit off. I respect know. my king queen and respect my authority. Thank you. There's King all those zero off. EV suited ASEX. How about those? Take that. Up your the, EV and smoke uh, it. My authority has not been respected. Oh. What's the argument for moving the aces up to the sort of six through five through eight as opposed to the three, four, three through five? I think it's EP, EP kind of the situation. Um, you're probably just needing a little better, maybe? I don't know. You have two overs if he flats a little pair. What? You see this? <laughs> I think, it, think the machine is broken. You know I mean, you it's, put it's two losing. all in, right? The, the big blind went all in, here. too. I don't understand. The it's church. losing with, with queens. Like it's not even winning. The church? Or it's not even break even. The church, the lady. Yeah, the church folds, definitely. Because one of your eight, because be what, Scotty? Because one, because one of those guys, if 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 you're not crushed by aces or kings, one of those guys has has your ace or your king dead. You beat him, shambles, but you're Scotty, behind. You can't handle it. Yeah, against two players, one of them's got pocket jacks and the other's got ace queen suited or something like that. You're ahead of the ace queen, but you're so far behind the pocket jacks now because your ace is dead. Say it ain't it's so, nice. Scotty. Okay. Yeah, we saw this the other day, right? The big blind has like nines plus, and then under the gun had like jacks plus and ace king. Yeah, if I recall, calling ace king off was losing 140 something big blinds. Oh, wait, yeah, I... under the gun doesn't even have ace king, right? That's even under the gun now. one. Now it's like, look yeah. at... no, but look at, look at under the gun one, Louis. Even he won't have ace king off. 
Even what? he's folding Ace King off. Yeah, okay. even he's folding Ace King off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No yeah, way. we saw this on Wednesday as well, or on Monday maybe. People don't fold a jack here. <laughs> they don't. It's funny. They're so bad. Yeah. So what's that tell you on the money bubble? What you should be doing with your Ace King generally? Because they don't fold a jack. I don't know. It's because you're. It's three bet, four bet. Can't this rain? We're not. In such a bad shape, are we? But you there's the uncapped the three better, the Louis. The uncapped three better still exists right there to your left. Yeah, you're doing okay versus this, but you're also like discounting the initial razor, which is going to have a lot of your outs dead or you dominated a lot. Like, what, what do you think that guy's got? I see a lot of aces here. I see a lot of kings here. He's folding his queen super. And the church. I'm just saying in general, like you have dead outs. Mm -hmm. uh, a right. ton. It's a spot just for aces and kings. What, what, what percentage of hands does the low jack have? Even whether he calls or folds them that have an ace or a king in it. All of them. Uh, all of them. <laughs> Like seventy percent of them. Yeah. Okay, so very surprising hand here. Now, if the under the gun one's folded, uh, do, they, do you call your ace king? Yeah, it's soft bubble. Andy. Yes. Louis, if the under the gun, if under the gun, if the initial razor folded though, do you call the big blind with your ace king now? Yeah. I mean, I would. Yeah, of I, course. Think, I think I think you do, and I think you don't do it happily. I don't think well, it's a I would big, be I very think. happy about it. Yeah. Look at what it, let's see, what does it make? 113. So All it's right. definitely okay. good. Yeah, that's good. And some ace queen. Okay. You got to be happier, Scotty. Come on. All right. I'm happy. Fine. Fine. I'll be happy. Jeez. Bold. Bold. Uh, yeah, dude. This is not close. Yeah, what do you happy do with King fold. Queen off, Aaron? King happy Queen to... off? That's uh, that's that's a tough question, Louis. King Queen off. The squeezer. You're not. You don't really like squeezing your offsuit combos that much. What is the button? I mean, mm. I don't want to call the King Queen off. Maybe you fold it then. I would yeah, do. that's kind of what I'm getting at. Maybe you fold. Maybe you mix calls and folds. Maybe a little thirty like... percent squeeze action. Fold the rest. No maybe, one is three betting the King Queen, because I am. Well, we'll Never. see if you're making some mistakes then. I'll be brave and venture out there with you, Louis. We can three bet it together. We can venture. Oh, look we at this. We can venture if you want to. You can leave your chips behind. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave your fear behind. Take chip. Uh, it's calling and three betting, so okay. We can chip. We can chip. <laughs> Betting like I'm out of control. Can we three bet here? Uh, it's close. Uh, I wouldn't hate it. I think you probably just fold. Though. Don't do it. Three He's bet too King early. Jack. What about King Jack? E... King Jack mix. Sure, A man. little. A little King Jack, still mainly King Queen though. Yeah, King Queen right? plus King Jack. I think Come so, Danny. It's gonna be a mainly King Jack. Yeah. Not bad though. That's pretty good. Um. Three bet. You know what to this, do. This seems like a good three bet. Pretty clean, cut clean, three bet. Nothing controversial about this spot. The wheels, blah, blah, blah. A little skeletor. He man is the king seven, skeletor is the king eight. Yeah. I and still don't king. understand that. Who's king six? <laughs> yeah, does king six have a name? Not yet. It's the um, Excalibur. 
Excalibur, exactly. Fold. The She-Ra. Actually, I guess that would be the queen. If there's a queen in that sequence. Okay, so what do you do here with Queen Jack suit? Queen Jack suited? Yes. Probably mixing folds. I would fold. Okay. King fold. Jack there's three big blinds. There's three big blinds. There's 48 can jam on you and make you fold everything. King Jack suited. <sighs> it's probably jam. gonna jam. I, don't, I mean, I don't love I don't love jamming King Jack suited, but the solver is probably gonna be jamming. Okay. Yeah. What about King Ten suited? Final maybe. final question. Oh, my jam maybe pranks. I don't know. I would probably I would probably lean fold. Yeah. The tens, the jacks. The jacks is where it's drawing the line. Queen you jack. got a fold here, a jack ten suited, king ten suited. I and... think I would have been more likely to take king ten than queen jack, but I'd probably fold both. Oh, I see queen jack is actually going. Pretty yeah. Interesting. Um, I'm kind of with you, Danny. I think I would have preferred the blocker. It's the zero EV you take versus the zero EV you don't. So many spots we see, if you're not on the button and you have around 20 big blinds, you don't have much of a calling ring. Uh, yeah, and higher ICM. That's right. I don't know, man. Maybe you prank this guy sometimes. Feels crazy. The big prank. It's a, it's a fold or a prank. It would be a very big prank. I'm out of here. It's pranking. Get your big pranks out in chat. Just a uh, maybe the smallest bit of prank here, but I think a very popular fold. I wouldn't prank here. Am I oh. wrong? What about they stand? Can we prank with they stand? I think you're going to prank yeah. Ace 10. What do you do with Ace Jack? You shove? Uh, prank. prank. Prank and fold or prank and call with Ace Jack? It's tough. Same. I'm prank I'm prank folding Ace Jack. Prank fold? Yeah, I think so. You might be priced in, though. Prank folding is good. Prank and deuce Ace Queen. Prank and deuce. Prank and deuce. <laughs> Frank and Deuce. Uh, you fold this, bruh. Open, flat, rejam. Ooh, do we? Ooh. Yeah, you do. Ooh, yeah. You don't close action behind. Oh, buddy boy. I don't think this one's close. I think you're probably still, like, folding ace queen off here. Ace queen suited feels kind of close. I don't think we saw the guy not fold. We saw the guy fold ace queen suited on an ear earlier one. It wasn't exactly this arrangement, but it was. Yeah, I think it's May effectively I... the same. Do you we... um what 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 traps does cutoff have, if any, pre? Cutoff traps... is, not, is not the range I'm very worried about right now. Uh, traps. I don't know if he's trapping per se. Uh, I but... think his range is very capped. Does he have queens plus at any frequency? No. Uh, probably not. Oh, we're UTG one, so maybe. Does he have ace king off at any frequency? Uh, probably not. Hey, I'm all too, in. He's too deep, too deep, right? I'm all in. I don't think all in is great though. Good call, Danny. Okay, so like I hear you, where you're going with that, Danny. But what do you think the big blinds jamming, and how do you think you compete with that? He's jamming in well, he feet. he's equally aware that cutoff is capped. Um, so yeah, he's but the, you're under the gun. Fairly robust range. He's he's the short stack too. Mm -hmm. You're still under the gun, right? I so think he's can... jamming every suited ten. I think he's jamming like a very unlikely plus, probably pocket sixes plus, probably a ten off plus. 
And it feels, feels risky. Like, yeah. feels risky for a solver. So oh, it feels really risky for, like, real life. Oh, I want to be... Well, Jeremy. for real life, I mean... Oh. I don't know what... I'm... Uh, yeah, real life, this is... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening in real life. But in Solverland, let's go with it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you, you might be done? close, Danny. I feel like you might be close. I'm folding in Solverland even here, though. A calling go with your heart, Louie. Is ever call calling is ever good? What's the point? It's half your chips. It's the same thing. Not really. You're not call folding, so it's the same thing. You, yeah. You have right. zero percent of range that can click call, and then he goes all in, and then you click. Yeah. Call. That's I, not. I kind of agree with Danny. It's effectively the same thing. There's not a range that exists that call folds, and it's also not a PKO, so you're not really incentivized to try to bait other people into the pot. Okay. Jam it. Why would you want to bait? A bigger stack into the pot in a PKO. If you have aces or something. Well, if you have if you have the top of your range here, Scotty, um, it's there's a lot of power in playing call here when there's bounties on the table because the cutoff will have some back jams, where he's gonna be putting chips in with worse. They're all negative EV. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. So like, look at this spot. Okay, so like, we should check the range. Something here, Danny. You're definitely onto something here, but um. If it's mixing here in Solverland, it's probably absolutely lighting a forest fire. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're finding this, so let's look at those two things. Does cutoff have any traps? First of all, and then what yeah, is yeah, big yeah. one jamming? Yeah, yeah. Let's vet. Let's vet the assumptions that are ba baked in, because I, I think you articulated it pretty well. So first things first, you need to see the button or, or the cutoff range. Cutoff calling range. Yeah. So, are there traps? Oh my gosh, big blind's jamming way tighter than... Wait, was no. that the range? No. Yeah, this is it. This is cut-off call. Ace-queen. So, ace-queen. Ace-queen is what's protecting this range. Yeah. wouldn't say there's traps, but I, there's... Yeah, I wouldn't qualify that as a trap, per se. It's just a normal call range. Alright, so this is what I was hoping to see. And then... The big blind. Oh, you figured out the jamming is suited then. This is well, yeah. From looking at what so... we were looking at earlier, that makes some sense, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well. All right. Damn. Yeah, all yeah. right. This is the range I wanted. It's just stays tracked suit. It doesn't perform as well as I thought it might. Yeah. Honestly, you navigated it pretty well because you you visualize this and you visualize the cutoff. And you estimated the EV. It's just I feel like you might have estimated a bit wide because you found uh, it's a really kind of obscure spot. It's it's the nice. floor of the range, so you know. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. From a solver perspective, you found the floor, which is good, <laughs> a good exercise. But like we can all agree, like don't they won't get one me. by me. Yeah, don't don't bring a can of gasoline <laughs> to a to the forest, man. It's not worth it. Uh, what do we do here? I kind of like playing call, but maybe we, maybe we uh, apply some pressure. Imagine sometimes. jamming. We don't have a blocker. <laughs> Imagine. Jamming? I feel like jam is gonna be like only zero point zero one less EV than call if it's not I like that. I don't disagree. It's probably competitive. I'm calling. Yeah. Uh, point zero, or what is it? No, it's actually. Oh, torching. it's torching. <laughs> it's torching. And then the raise. Do do look at the raise, with, though. Look at the what raise. What do you do the here with offsuit aces? Um, you're gonna prank him with the wheels. Like, just focus on. It's gonna be really polar. So it's like ace king, and then your suit offsuit wheels. Okay, so yeah. Even some and kings. kings. There. Yeah, and kings. Okay. Because we're a little deeper and we cover, you don't have to fold. That so block many. is very popular from the big blind to three bed block. Chip EV, ICN, everything. Why do you Wait, think it's so popular, Louis? The blockers. 
Well, that doesn't mean anything. What do you mean, the blockers? Well, so you, you block it like a knight, you block a king, and then when you three bet with these hands, you get better king than better aces to play. Right, so that's part of it. I also think like they're also just underneath the opener's range, and you have the additional equity with some of the suited aces to make low wheels, so they just probably perform pretty well, as opposed to and like a... Their uh, lower EV calls, too. Yeah, yeah, Louis, yeah. Can you hover over ace five suited? It's like triply, triply okay. good, right? Like the deuce yeah. means you unblock a lot of stuff. They'll raise fold. It means your hand plays poorly as a call, so you have like more incentive to want a three bet and win pre. Right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It just I think it just checks a lot stuff. of boxes. It checks lots of boxes more so than because blockers. I wish it was Jack Ten, but I'm jamming. Uh, probably not bad, Dooley. Probably not bad. Seems it's kind like of a scary. zero EVer. Yeah, probably a zero EVer. We saw Definitely. this one too. I said I would add it to my game, and then I did it the next day, and it worked fine. <laughs> I'm folding. Man. Oh, actually, you know what? Button, I. Though. The guy has a hundred big blinds. Also, uh, I didn't realize that. I just was looking at the positions. Uh, it's but like even the if he very, has a hundred, he doesn't really care a ton. All right. So if you made him the button, what are you doing? Like you're definitely adding some of those nines in there versus the button, right? That might have been so. what it was. Although, yeah, okay, it's it's, a, it it's the pip wider. It's the pip wider. So. So, trigger Prank. every time? Prank or ram. Haha! -ha. Good luck. Uh, block us. Happy days. We weren't pranking. There it is. He was pranking. Uh, this is a fold. Yeah. Uh, I'm folding here. I'm pranking. I'm folding. You've got 15. Oh, We're too short to prank. Well, you're also EP. Ver like You're like early middle position versus UTG. Well, EP, EP. I think you still do it, no? Yeah? Not really. No, not really. Yeah, that's that's grasping at straws a little bit. Like you saw, like fragments. You go, yeah. <laughs> yep. Every time. All right. Yeah. This one plays itself pretty easily. Ooh. Oh. Boy. Okay. Uh... Now, now we're now we're getting in deeper water. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you're calling here, what the heck are you four bet? What are you like five betting? Uh, Ace King off, Queens, Jack. Thirty three. Click him back. Dude, this has the extra. Equity. I feel like maybe I would be more inclined. Don't you think you need one of them to call a little bit? Maybe call Ace King off. Click this back. Uh, you have a lot more Ace King off. off. And I think the majority plays to play back here. So I would play back with all the Ace King off. And okay, this well, okay. before you click the button, construct your playback range real quick. So Aces, you're going to click. Kings, you're probably going to click. Yeah, Ace King suited, you're thinking call. Okay. Maybe, I don't... maybe call Aces. I think uh, sometimes I have a five bet wheel, like it's five suited. Yeah, that's crazy stuff though, but it's probably good. And then maybe some ace queen off. Uh, ace queen off feels like a torch. It's a bluff. No, you're no, no. ace king suited no, is like no. your bluff here. No, no, no ace queen off. Ace queen off feels crazy. All right. 
So let's see. You guys say 33? I say go. 33. Uh -huh. Okay, the wheels can bluff. Not ace queen. Jam ace king. Jam ace king is what I was Call thinking. Call ace queen. Okay, so you were right about the click. The click, you don't mind taking ace king suited post flop, so you can you can still click and compete versus whatever he calls. Ace mm -hmm. king off is just like I want folds. Yeah. So I want to run it, run my equity, not have I'd to play <laughs> SPR yeah, one. Run my equity or get folds. Yeah. Kind of like your suited wheels. Okay, you're bluffing your suited wheels because. You really want folds. And then you click like it with the king click. blocker. King five suited. Yeah, king pretty eight interesting. suited. Can you look at what cutoff, sorry, what hijack four bets in this La La Land? <laughs> <laughs> that were it. <laughs> Whee! All right. A whole bunch of stuff. I feel like some of this makes sense and i feel like people find some of this but they're gonna find like i don't know maybe 25 percent of these the big name uh, right yeah it's maybe the that's the peter kicker coverage tree of the yeah. suited kings and aces <laughs> yeah yeah like you might find some guy out there fighting king six suited once in a blue moon but they're not balancing all of this like the pocket sevens <laughs> Pocket eights. Bro. And a lot of the stuff there, it's like, yeah, they might do it like one in ten times with a eight suited, right? You're supposed yeah. to do it pure. What the heck? Pure. All right. Huh. Good to know. Oh, boy. All Here right, we go. <laughs> Sure, let's play poker. Ace. Chip lead okay. flip. Ace, yeah, bro? Ace. You wanted to run it for chip lead on the bubble with eight? How tilted, are, Danny? How tilted are you gonna be when it runs out bricky on the board and you just oh lose with ace? I'm tilted when I win. I'm like, how could he do this? Yeah, I, I'm chip lead, but what the heck? What happened? Oh man, that's kind of uh, that's something, dude. Are you folding? I don't know, man. You might prank this guy. I'm always folding. What do you want to prank him with? You need suited cards to prank in case he calls. I mean, he's five suited. Yeah, a lot of pretty prank. much, Danny. You want you're late. We're deep enough stack poker where if you're gonna prank, have us have the suited ace or king. Is basically you can flop the an emergency cards. flush draw. Yeah, you need an emergency flush draw. You need a back door. You need a a, a, a medical kit. <laughs> I need an adult. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> What's the worst pair you take here? I want to fold, but I'm afraid it wants to go all in. I'm folding. This is a fold, but the worst pair should be five, six, sixes? Sixes. You're folding five. Uh, maybe Dude, not. you got nine big blinds. Like, uh, I don't know how much table. we're actually playing call here. Under the gun, open. I don't think we can call anything. It covers all board. of them. Except the big blind. Maybe you can jam fives. Call I'm jambulance. not loving it. Call a jambulance. I'm going to say sixes is like the first real bottom. Call the Jambulance, and this time it's for me. Sixes. Sixes. Locked Take your, in. Take your sixes. Take that sixes. Back me in the 150, please. Thank you. What 150? Is it six map? Uh, Friday night fight. It is, yeah. Oh, my goodness. 
Three bet. Prank. Uh, I have a problem. Fold. Uh, do you just jam? I think you might just jam. Prank. Uh, what about folding? Feels kind of bad. You want to three bet this combo? What else are you going to do with it? Oh. <clears throat> Calling. I don't think hmm. you have too much calls. Hmm. What about folding? Maybe we can call because we're the... Hamburger? Almost, we're almost like uh, the button, right? Any hamburgers? Mm. Calling seems fine. 30 big blinds deep. Remember. What about a fully loaded burger with some jamming on top? No. Nope. Ooh, tasty. It's just a call. Okay. You're going right. full keto. You're just eating full beef. Keto. Just eating straight beef. Raw straight meat. up patty. Raw meat. No, I'm cooked. There's actually a lot of calling. There's way more calling than I anticipated from the cutoff. Raw meat and steroids. We still have room. Tar tar. Yes. Har har. And make sure you film all your meals. Film? Film. You eating the raw meat. Mm. Hey, I have a question. When you guys say prank, are you pranking population or do you have a preferred pranking candidate? I guess Come we should on. explain. So a prank is like you're three betting, but you're not really serious about it. Meaning like if they four bet, they're serious and we're probably going to fold. That's kind of what like a prank is. Yeah. And when I say prank, uh, I'm typically doing a lot of that in real life. Yes. Against population. Population, okay. So doesn't matter if they're a knit or they're overly aggressive or no. Maybe okay. knits you well, leave them alone a little bit. I'm probably gonna be less incentivized to prank a maniac just because they're gonna be a liability, you know? Yeah, they prank back. <laughs> yeah, they prank back hard. Yeah. Okay, so just the generic player. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Standard conditions. Feels Frank? like a pretty good three bet. Jeez, the first time he four bets. See, that guy's serious. He's not joking around. We're pranking, so we're full. Uh, feels like a pretty good call. Jamming feels good. Insane. Okay. And then any low pair do funky stuff like deuces or trees. No? Okay. Very heavy calling range here. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you jam? Maybe you just jam this guy in this guy's face. No, no. You just read it. So you, would you say you really ever full ace king free flop when your head's up? You're saying phase phase one razor? Yeah. No. Never, right? And always is gonna be versus two. And they almost yeah. have to be all in in front of you for it to happen, right? Talking about that spot where we fold queens and ace king. Well, I mean that was like RFI flat or three bed four bed jam yeah but like we've your... seen that other like we've seen it before and it's almost always when there's two guys all in in front of you no yeah 
or like it, it's it's instead of like all in, think of it like capped ra uncapped ranges. So like if you're facing two uncapped ranges, Ace King is probably not going to be performing too well. All right. Okay, feels like a pranking opportunity here some of the time. Uh, polar, more polar. So it wants to do worse. Yeah, I mean, okay, so pick the wheels, it's fine. Find one of those and be happy. I'm all in. What's the worst suit that they should play here? What do you do with Ace-10 suited? Jam it pre. Not here, huh? Yeah, you... I can't you get you. raise right? all the top. Like, everything you're folding, you've already jammed. Or, or like, the, it's, like, crap. Yeah. Okay. Oh my scam. Fold. Click it. <laughs> Don't stick your neck out too often. You're gonna get your head chopped off. Exactly. Yeah. What do you want to do here? I want to fold. Ah, oh, I almost got you. <laughs> I almost got you. This seems like a good tree, though. I think you need to be more polar. Yeah, um, this is this is like middling. So, so you call no. here with this one. Yeah. Call and then. So. Yeah, three bet the small ones. I see him. You want to be more polar. This is your your. You can. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Words aren't. They're, they're not there right now. I feel you. Just a call. Too deep. Big stack against big stack. Uh, yeah. I think you want to be more polar. You should go all in. Let's see what he does. Six five suited. Put him to the test. Danny. Worst case scenario, you double up. That's not how you get into one fifty, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably yeah, jamming's man. probably okay here, but what about seven sixes? Yeah, at all. He's late position. Yeah, hijack is late enough. I think you probably jam a lot. Deuces. Jams a lot. Deuces, put it in. Put it in. Ooh, not fun. You got a premium. Pairs are OP. Bro's basically the button, because the cutoff and button had no chips. Oh. And what would you do here? 12 big blind with sixes. <laughs> Show it again. Hmm? I think it's a gem, but I, I don't remember. What was the... Yeah, all bears. Ooh. Ribbit. Is it? Ooh, there's know. an open. I think so. I yeah, why, why wouldn't it be? I think so. Good enough. We're approaching the money bubble. You're the shortest, so the value of doubling up goes down. So you are going to constrict your range. What's the worst pair you are jamming, you think? This. 
So eight, you're folding if you're calling if you're jamming nines. No, I'm sevens. jamming eight as well, but I'm not proud of it. What about sevens? Sevens feels like a let go. Seven, you fold. I think I would take sevens. Just take a look at the range. I might fold sixes though. Yeah, there you go. Locked in. Nines are. Well, good enough. You don't be need to be scared. It's okay. Okay, ask Jack. GG. You can lose the game. It's okay. You can I will be here for you to cry a, cry a shoulder to cry. <laughs> Show the sim to your investors. <laughs> I will lend my investors a shoulder to cry on. All right, pocket fives. Power? What does Dracula want to do here? <laughs> um, yeah, call seems good. I don't know if you fold, man. You already have half a big blind invested. Okay, it's like mixing. This is my sweet lead. So I know it's a fold. Yeah, but if I think it's okay, then it might be okay. Because I always get on you for it. I just want to do it anyways. The range just really doesn't like to call very much here. <laughs> if I think big blind is going to squeeze, like, if his 3-bet stat is more than 6, I'm just going to fold here every time. Low bar for me. Fold, fold feels right. And then what would you do with king-queen offer? Three bet to four or four point five. You think? Because little Jack is short distance. Or just fold maybe. Okay, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's good. No it's fear good. with king queen, queen. And three bet yeah. to small. Yeah. And what else? Like suited wheel. Is is Jack off? Is Jack suited? All right, aces. That's easy to play. Okay, what's the calling range here? Ooh, not this. What about AC2 then? Uh, feels kind of bad, man, but... Um, let's see. You would raise call ace eight if you were the button here with thirty bigs, right? Ace eight suited. Mm-hmm. I think he's jamming all of his absolute. But it would be your floor, right? No. Or would you call ace seven suited too? Like whatever our floor is on the button, we'll remove a pip or two here. Seems good. I mean, he's supposed to be jamming like all kinds of stuff here. I think. Yeah. I, mean, I this isn't close to me. I'm folding this. I'm probably folding Ace Eight suited also. Yeah, I think Ace Nine suited is a good floor. And I'm kind of I'm pretty close to that. Ace Ten off. Yeah, Ace Ten off doesn't seem too bad. I would be calling Ace Ten from the button for sure. Oh, uh, there. So, if it's ace ten off, then maybe ace eight suited is the floor. Maybe we could call this if we're the button. What about pairs? Uh, fours? Fives? Call every pair. Nah, you fold ducks for sure, right? Yeah, dude, two, deuces feels bad. Deuces and threes, fours. I think fives is probably going to be somewhere near the floor. Maybe fours. King queen suited. What about king queen off? Folding king queen off. What about king jack suited? I think you gotta call king queen off. Not calling king queen off. 
Maybe you do that. I think you call king queen off, king jack suited, ace eight suited, ace ten off, force plus. Final answer. It's calling king jack off. We were too tight on the ace branch. All right, we got to look at the jams, though. Let's look at the jams. Way too tight on the ace branch. Way too tight on the ace branch. I knew that was going to happen. Didn't think that was happening. I thought that was happening as well. Yeah, and, that's uh, tough. That's tough because this is this is very aggressive. Very aggressive. No one's going to do that. Maybe if you're playing against Brazilians. Louis, you saw why we weren't calling off ducks, right? It's because we opened jam. Uh, <laughs> I think all pairs in your range have to play. If, if we hadn't open jammed, if there were like a big stack button and we min raised, I think you're right given the EV of threes. Yeah, uh, threes is printing. So if you somehow didn't first that, that range, you're probably calling. In my mind, I had ace eight off, but I thought I was crazy. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I was ashamed. You got to be bold. I saw this A6. I'm like, I'm probably calling here. And then everyone was like, no, no, no. Like, this is like nine more bigs, man. Yeah. So what have we learned? Like, late position, late position. You're still pretty wide in general here. You get to rejam the big blind with all kinds of stuff against cutoff hijack. And consequently, when you're the opener, you get to call off fairly wide versus the regen if you're short enough. You got to archetype your players correctly is the other thing, though. Just because well, yeah, it's 18% away theory. from the money, there's going to be players who are just, like, not putting their tournament life at stake with worse than, like, Ace King. Some people right. just aren't going to do it. They don't care. And I don't so think like, one is really that aggressive right now. So, you, yeah, you, you can look at this and you can tell yourself this, but right. if the guy's got, like, I don't know, 9% VPIP, and he's jamming it to you, and you're like, he states the floor. Well, <laughs> no, I'm always talking in theory. When I'm yeah, 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 about, yeah. All right, no, I, I agree. I agree. All right, thanks a lot for watching, everybody.